Hello everyone, Infinite Movie Recaps here. Today I'm going to show you a fantasy and adventure movie titled Slumberland. There will be spoilers ahead. Now sit back, relax and enjoy. A girl named Nemo wakes up from sleep and goes to greet her dad who had just arrived with fresh supplies. They both live in a secluded lighthouse and her dad works as a caretaker. Nemo is homeschooled. She spends her days learning how to sail and helps her dad maintain and operate the lighthouse. She has fun with her dad and it's clear that she is loved. Her dad always tells her fun stories about his friend called Flip and the adventures they both were involved in. One night, he tells her a peculiar story about how he and Flip set sail to find a magical pearl with the ability to grant wishes. He describes how he got knocked into the water and nearly lost his life to a tentacled creature. He is interrupted by an emergency call about a stranded fishing boat and is forced to sail away to go help them. Nemo isn't worried because her dad does this frequently. She falls asleep but she has a nightmare about her dad being captured by the tentacled creature. The next morning, she is excited to see her dad but is unfortunately told that her dad died the previous night. Nemo wants to stay behind at the lighthouse but she is told that her dad wished for her to stay with her uncle if he dies. At the funeral, she meets her uncle Philip for the first time. Her uncle is a bit awkward and doesn't really know how to connect with her. He searches for tips on how to raise a child. He tries to show Nemo his doorknob collection and attempts to teach her how to open a lock but she isn't really interested. That night, Nemo wakes up and is shocked to see that her toy pig is alive. Her bed gets animated and begins to carry her away. It takes her to a lighthouse and she sees that the house is a bit more lively than when she left it. She hears a noise and goes to her dad's room hoping to find him there but instead finds a stranger. The stranger introduces himself as Flip which makes Nemo surprised because she thought Flip was just an imaginary character her dad made up. Flip asks her if she knew where her dad kept the map that leads to the magical pearl but she doesn't know. He tells her to wake up and pushes her out of the window. Nemo wakes up from her dream and attempts to find the map but isn't successful. She reluctantly goes to school and is introduced to a student named Jamal. He tells her about the school scheduling app and its users. That night, she dreams about finding the map and when she wakes up, she goes to the same location and finds it. The next morning, Nemo gets some supplies. She takes her uncle's phone, loads the scheduling app and takes an absent day without her uncle's consent. She then goes to the school basement and gets comfortable in order to fall asleep and get back to slumberland. When she gets to the land of dreams, she meets Flip and shows him the map. She insists that he takes her along to find the magical pearl. Flip initially refuses but eventually acquiesces. Flip tells her that the map shows every dream in the world and would eventually lead them to the magical pearl. Flip stole the map from a dream cop named Agent Green and she has been chasing him around slumberland ever since. The dream cops decide what people dream. Flip warns Nemo that if she dies in another person's dream, she will be lost forever. They take a hidden door into a lady's dream. Flip gets distracted dancing with a sexy lady when they are ambushed by Agent Green and a nightmare creature. Flip and Nemo narrowly escape. He tells Nemo that the nightmare is able to track her through her fear. It won't stop chasing her until it gets her or she overcomes her fear. They follow the map to another dream. Nemo asks Flip who he is in the waking world but he said he has lost his memories and doesn't really know who he is anymore which is why he needs the magical pearls to help restore his memories. Nemo simply tells him that all she wants to wish for is to see her dad. The map shows that the next door is in a blue garbage truck. They are accosted by Agent Green who tries to capture Flip. They are able to get into the truck and find out that the driver is a little boy. Agent Green is able to shoot the truck which causes it to crash. The pair are able to get the door open and escape into another dream. Just as they are celebrating, Agent Green finds them, freezes them and apprehends Flip. Agent Green takes them to the Bureau of Subconscious Activities and locks them up. Flip laments his lack of memories and inability to wake up because of the lengthy period of time he has spent in slumberland. Agent Green releases Nemo. She tells Nemo that the magical pearls don't exist and they are just a myth. When Nemo wakes up, she is sad because she won't get to see her dad again. In a bid to cheer her up, her uncle shows her an old video of himself and her father. He tells her about the adventures he used to have in his dreams with her father when they were much younger. Nemo figures out that Flip is her uncle but they both lost their memory of each other 
due to Flip's inability to wake up. Nemo decides to save Flip and get some lockpicking tools from her uncle. They try to sneak out of the bureau but run into Agent Green. She punches Flip but Nemo steals her gun and uses it to freeze her. They escape to an icy mountain but Agent Green catches up to them. In a desperate bid to escape, Nemo and Flip jump on a giant goose and fly away. They get to the final door that takes them to the Nightmare Realm. When they arrive at the Nightmare Realm, Nemo tells Flip what she discovered. She tells him that he's actually her uncle in the waking world and he got stuck in slumberland when her uncle stopped dreaming. Flip is disappointed that his waking world counterpart is a doorknob salesman that lives a very boring life. He tells her that he's not interested in getting the pearls anymore and that he quits. Nemo adamantly tells him that she will go on without him and as Flip tries to change her mind, she's woken up by Jamal and a guidance counselor. Nemo gets into trouble for ditching school and spending all day sleeping in the basement of her school and her uncle Philip is upset with her for lying to him. That night, Nemo sneaks out of the house and gets on a boat in a bid to go back to her lighthouse. She sails successfully and when she is close to the lighthouse, she unfortunately has an accident and is rendered unconscious. She wakes up in the sea of nightmares and decides to go after the magical pearl. Nemo eventually finds the pearls and gets one, unaware that the nightmare creature was coming after her. Meanwhile, Flip had abandoned his search for the pearl and was about to get into a bar to drink his problems away. He finds his wanted poster and finds out that Nemo had gone back into the sea of nightmares. Just as the nightmare creature is about to catch Nemo, Flip arrives in a plane to save her to her delight. Unfortunately for them, the creature latches onto the plane and devours a part of it. This causes them to crash into another dream, with the creature hot on their trail. Meanwhile, in the waking world, Nemo was slowly dying which made her get weaker in slumberland and she drops the pearl. Her uncle Philip had organized a search party and they were heading to the lighthouse to find Nemo. Flip tries to get the pearl but is captured by the nightmare creature. He throws it to her and tells her to run but instead she makes a wish for him to wake up. Nemo finally stands up to the creature and shows courage and it eventually disappears. Nemo is about to drown but with Philip's memories restored, he jumps into the water to save her. In slumberland, Nemo meets Agent Green at the lighthouse. Agent Green applauds her and tells her that there's an extra pearl in the pig. Green tells Nemo that the bureau makes sure that everyone has the dream they are meant to have and what Nemo does next is up to her. Nemo finally makes a wish to see her father again, which comes true. Her father tells her that he didn't teach her all he did so she can live in a lighthouse. He did it to make her know that she can do anything. He also tells her that life in the waking world is waiting for her and that he's very proud of her. In the waking world, Nemo is finally resuscitated and is glad that her uncle has his memories of slumberland restored. She and her uncle live happily and continue the adventures in slumberland. Let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below and if you like my video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.